Good morning. Today, we're going to Stanley. I think you might be able to see it. There's a massive mountain. It's called the Nut. And we're going to catch a air chair all the way to the top. I think it goes like 100 meters in the air. So yeah, we're going to be jumping on that air chair. What's it called? Chair lift. It's a chair lift from the bottom to the top. We're choosing the route to go up because we're lazy. And then we're going to walk back down. So a little bit of tourist things today. We don't normally do any tourist things like that, but um, that's something I remember doing when I was a kid and I want Alicia to experience it. So, and it's not too bad. It's $14 one way. That's not bad at all. So if it was like 30, 40 bucks each way, I'd be like, nah, fuck that. Every morning, waiting for Alicia to get ready. Bullshit. I never ever do this. Bullshit. Some mornings we just leave the bed made just because it's easier. Deck chairs under there, table under there, surf rod on there just in case I see a school of dogs. Lock all the cupboards. That's all. Put the step in. Give your tourist guide the paperwork so she knows where we're going. We're good to go. is on like no one's travel itinerary like everyone that comes here forgets about this because it's like a bit out of the way in this little town called Stanley but it's one of the best places I reckon when you get to the top but it's so windy today I don't know if we're going to be able to go on that little air chair I'm happy to walk up but we'll see what the boss says Tell you what, they don't make the name up Windy Stanley for no reason. We just changed our booking on the ferry, so we're going home early December now. Costs an extra 14 bucks to amend it. But, so that's five and a half weeks or six weeks, a bit better than two months. So now we can enjoy this for a month or so. Six weeks. And then, get back onto the mainland and start heading up the coast towards the top of Australia throughout summer. So we'll be on the east coast throughout summer. So windy. <laughs> this is so steep. Oh, look at this hair. How is this? It's like a rainforest on top of the nut in Stanley. This is on the nut. Bracken fern, like full rainforest spec. All right, so we just finished the Stanley nut. And we're both craving some type of seafood. So we're going to go to this local wharf where it comes straight off the boat and you can buy it straight out of the water. See what the prices are like. If they're pretty decent and we're not going to uh, have to... Break the bank. Break the bank. <laughs> and we're going to get some seafood and then we're going to a nice RV stop. Probably half an hour away. 
in this beautiful green park in a town called I have no idea but I'll let you know soon Flake, squid, pickled octopus, and chips. nine bucks. Medium. In a, nine bucks for medium chips and a second Adelaide extra large. Okay. All right, Alicia's just bought pickled oh. octopus. <laughs> what is it? Honey and chili and garlic. Yeah. Taste test. Go. <laughs> Sensational. What does it taste like? Like hard, a bit harder than squid. And Tender. No, it's not. Yeah, no, not really. Tastes yummy. Lots of honey in it. Mm, we can probably use that juice on our meals. Mm. Delicious. We're at the front of this seafood place, straight out of the ocean, straight into your mouth. We've got honey, chili, garlic, octopus. Mm. and fresh flake and squid crumbed and battered this is a taste test fresh fish this is legit straight off the boats oh my god look at those oranges oh look at that mm. oh my god Look how juicy that is. Mm. That's gummy shark. Yeah. Oh. All right, fresh squid. Mm. Look at these are like, orange lemons. They are oranges. They're not lemons. No, they're that cross ones. They're like tangelos or whatever you call them. We actually forgot it's daylight savings. And we got to our campsite at two o'clock, <laughs> thinking it was ready for bed. The sun doesn't go down till like 8.30 here. So let's not forget about that. And we're just walking. I think it's a pub up here. We're going to the pub. Look at my hair, fuck, I'm becoming quite the van lifer. So we're going to possibly get a beer whilst I'm there. And apparently it's got a pool and pool table and everything so the timbers let's go have a look what a campsite look at that straight out the front of the pub where are we over there turns out this is like a massive country club crazy pools bar tennis courts everything things you find when you're traveling look at this we're staying over there we didn't even realize we're in a resort pool and spa tennis courts oh. that's camp number two beautiful green grass a little river stream 